Ludwig von Beethoven was born on December 17, 1770 in Bonn, Germany. He was one of the most influential composers and pianists of all time, known for masterpieces such as the Symphony No. 9, Moonlight Sonata and Fidelio. His career spanned the late classical and early romantic periods, and he played a crucial role in shaping Western classical music. Beethoven suffered from progressive hearing loss, becoming completely deaf in his later years. Despite this, he continued composing some of his most famous works. He died on March 26, 1827 in Vienna, Austria, likely due to complications from liver disease, possibly cirrhosis, lead poisoning, or another underlying illness. In 2023, researchers extracted and analyzed Beethoven's DNA from preserved locks of his hair to investigate his health issues and cause of death. The DNA analysis was conducted by the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Germany. I gathered his DNA from European Nucleotide Archive and processed it. I ran Beethoven through QP admixture to determine his ethnic breakdown, and I also ran him through my trait predictor and GVAS health predictor tools. First, let's go over his ethnicity. According to FST and F2 statistics, Beethoven is closest to the French population. He is clearly a Western European with strong ties to Spaniards, Scots, and Norwegians. He is further removed from Eastern Europeans, such as Russians and Croats, and is very distant from Finnish people. According to Illustrative DNA Breakdown, he is also closest to Belgians and the French. Beethoven had a fairly large amount of Indo-European DNA, which is typical of Western Europeans, and a sizable amount of Iranian Neolithic ancestry. Interestingly, the model with no Iranian Neolithic farmer gave much worse p-val than the model that included it, which signals that he probably had Iranian Neolithic farmer admixture. In terms of his Mesolithic ancestry, the largest component which makes up Beethoven's DNA is Anatolian Neolithic farmer although he also has a sizable VHG, WHG, and Caucasus or Iranian contributions. Now let's dive deeper into Beethoven's trait predictor results. Here is his predicted phenotype. He was predicted to have hazel eyes, dark brown hair, olive skin color, curly hair texture, and a Greek nose shape. Beethoven was predicted to be intermediate between the warrior and the warrior profiles. He was predicted to have less D2 receptor sites, intermediate odds of autism, was lactase persistent, had intermediate empathy levels, lower odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, intermediate odds of obesity, and decisively blood type A. Beethoven's DNA revealed one of the reasons he might have sustained fatal liver damage. He carried both H63D and C282Y risk variants for familiar hemochromatosis. With just one of these variants, it is unlikely you will develop hemochromatosis. However, people who have both, such as Beethoven, are very susceptible to this condition. Beethoven carried a very rare risk variant for panic disorder. He had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, gout, male pattern baldness, deep vein thrombosis, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and thyroid cancer. He carried rare risk variants for polycythemia vera, testicular cancer, and Parkinson's disease. According to my GVAS health predictor, Beethoven had high odds of heart attack, mental illness, schizophrenia, and skin cancer. You can purchase Beethoven's raw DNA in 23andMe format from link in the description, as well as my tools and services, the links to which will be in the description as well.